Hello everybody. Today I wanted to do a very quick power run through of Luminar AI update 2. We'll be having a look at some of the major changes within this update uh, and changes to the interface as well. And we'll be doing that right after this. Alrighty, thanks everyone for sticking with me. As I said, today we're going to be going through Luminar AI Update 2. Now I'm going to make this a very quick video. It's only going to run through a couple of the major features within Luminar AI Update 2. There's a lot more than this, but really it's the sort of the major things. Um, you can have a look in the description below for any more information on the updates and also for the specific photos that I've used and the artists uh, that took those photos. So really there's two changes that I'm gonna cover in this video. The first is uh, Sky AI version 2.0. And the fundamental change within this is that it now supports reflections in bodies of water. So it will effectively mirror and reflect your sky. Um, there have been a few layout changes as well that you'll probably see as we go through. And then finally, the last thing I want to show you is textures. Now with textures, we're not going to cover a lot. Really what I want to show you with this is how you can use textures to watermark an image. But So that's what we're going to cover. Stick with me and we'll get through it surely. All right, so the very first thing is Sky AI. I've got three photos here that I want to show you how we can replace the skies with these. Um, You'll see the layout has changed slightly. So in this photo, I want to replace the sky with a bit more blue sky. And I'm going to click on a blue sky. So what you'll notice is that it's reflected straight away in the water itself. Now I can reduce the reflection amount back down to zero, or I can make it 100%. But obviously you would generally not apply full reflection because it's just not going to look realistic. So you're going to have to tweak your photo a little bit to achieve what the right balance is for you. Uh, so there's a couple of other changes to this. Um, you've got within the orientation tab, the ability to adjust the vertical offset to make it look a little bit more realistic. The horizontal offset as well. And what you'll notice is as I'm doing this, it's changing the reflection in the water. Um, and you can also rotate as well um, and flip and all of those typical things. So that's the, the first part of this. Um, one thing that I haven't shown you because I don't have a great photo to show you is the, there's all of the typical relight um, controls, but there's also relight human. And what Relight Human does is it tries to work on color casts and things within people in the photo to try and get a more realistic look for that um, individual. And then we've got sky adjustments. So within sky adjustments, you can adjust the amount of focus. Um, you can adjust the grain, atmospheric haze. You know, so with this, because it's hazy, maybe we want it to look a little bit more. I'm going to turn it off in this case. We're going to adjust the warmth and also the brightness. So it does give you a lot more control over your photos and how you can apply the sky to those, which I think is really cool. It, it's going to open up a lot more opportunities. One thing I always tell people though, is have a play around with different skies. You don't have to use the Skylum ones. And I think when you look at a lot of these skies, what you'll notice is that if you go in into some of these uh, dramatic skies, um, you might find that they look very similar because everyone uses the same sort of sky. So if you can use a different sky, you've, maybe you've got your own, maybe you've bought a pack from somewhere or you found some open source ones, I think you'll create more interesting photos than just using a stock standard sky. So I'm gonna go into another photo now. And this is just a, a lake photo, but a blue sky. So maybe we want to make this a little bit more dramatic again. So we can, I'm going to go to all skies and we'll have a look at what we've got that we can work with. So it's not going to change it a lot, but it is going to obviously change the sky and just possibly add a little bit more interest to the blue up the top. 
So again, the reflection amount we can adjust and you can see it is really working with the reflection on the water. Um, we can adjust the, the sky in terms of defocus, grain and so on. Um, but I think one of the cool things as well is, as I said, that ability to adjust the offsets to make it just look a little bit more realistic for you know what you're looking for in, in your specific photo. So I'm going to jump to another one now. Um, this is a little bit of a, a darker photo. And I'm going to try, let's try a, a bit of a storm one, just out of curiosity. So I've got a, a thunderstorm image. And in this one, I just wanted to see what that looked like. So you can see it is reflecting the lightning bolt on the water. Again, we can adjust the reflection amount to increase or decrease that. Um, we can also change the horizontal offset to move that lightning around in the photo to create something a little bit different and, and more unique, as well as rotation and all of those sorts of things. Now, the very last thing I wanted to cover is the uh, texture. So to get to texture, we go into local masking and then we're going to click on add and we're going to add texture. Now, what this lets you do is it lets you load a texture. In this case, I've got a transparent PNG um, and I can go place texture and it'll then let me resize the texture that I've got and move that around the photo. So if I'm happy with this as is, I can just place it wherever I want. But in advanced settings, you can also adjust the blend mode. So you can find a better blend mode that might suit your photo a little bit more. Um, you can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, and so on. Now, at the moment, I'm using this for a watermark, but you don't have to use it for a watermark. You can apply any transparent texture. Uh, that's a PNG, so maybe you want to add a, a transparent picture frame or, or something else to the photo. So I think this is a really good uh, and useful tool that lets you adapt the photo to suit what you're trying to make a little bit more. So that was a very quick run through. As I said, it doesn't cover everything within um, Skylum Luminar AI Update 2 but it does give you a little bit of an idea on what some of the major changes are and some examples of what they look like. So I hope this has been useful. As always, if you've got any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this heart, it's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah